Welcome to the Game of Brisk, everyone. I'm your host, Olive XC, a top player at this game. And today, we are doing what I think are the new meta settings. Trigon's Labyrinth, Fogon Blizzards on Progressive Capitals. These settings were popularized by the Killpede strategy. I'm thinking there's some pretty good merit to these settings, so I want to be exploring them more. Here are the bonuses. I can cap on this two right here. Okay, good, good. So purple's there. So purple and pink are screwed. That doesn't even make sense. Purple saw pink right there. Why would they cap there? And black we do see. So based on this, black is going to be going for Trigon's maze in the middle. Pink is kind of screwed. If I was pink, I probably would have done void altar, just safer. And that's pink. So I think I try to go for the middle bonus right here. And let's see if we can get this. So if I were to attack into here, I think we have to get this over two turns. I think we get this over two turns uh, is the play. We're going to smack this first, guarantee 100%. Yeah, we got a bad roll anyway. We get some extra territory. Do lose that roll, but we were taking some risk anyway. Go back to capital so we don't get hit. And then we take the bonus on the next turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is good, good. So then all we have to do is take out these territories. We have actually a one-point hold over this bonus, which will be nice. Nice. So yellow just attacks down there. So that was a one. And that means this is probably a two here in Gloomy Hall. So on my next turn, I can just go pop, 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 knock out all of these, and then be completely fine. And yellow did not get the bonus. Because one important thing you have to keep in mind about Trigon's maze uh, is the fact of how enclosed like the middle is, right? Like there's three openings. There's an opening down here. There's an opening like uh, through like here. And there's like, and even this is like, kind of closed. So when there's blizzards down the middle, you always have to consider the impact of, is this make this a board where there's only one opening down the middle? Or are there no openings down the middle? Right? And then does your capital cut the map in half? So in this case, yellow does have a lot of power right now over this location because they're essentially cutting off this open point here. It's only like the bottom part. Actually, no, there's a blizzard here. So it looks like yellow actually is cutting the entire map in half right now because there's a blizzard also right here. Yeah, you have to go through here to get to the other side of the board. So yellow, if I don't knock yellow out early, there's a chance I, I am gonna get in trouble. Blue smacked pink, ooh. That's very aggressive of blue. They must only have a three. They must have also capped right here like a moonstone or something silly like that. Cause that was such an expensive attack on pink. Like pink's game is screwed. So we actually are on borrowed time right now. If yellow, stay strong for too long we're not gonna have uh they can just put a huge amount on their cap and we can't do anything to stop them so we do need to get these bonuses pretty fast for ourselves. yeah so pink's on three so pink's screwed so not only they got attacked here but it looks like purple may have hit their capital as well so one thing i've always kept in mind is like what makes these settings like so special because europe advanced was such a good map because like everybody could always get a bonus like on this map you can't always do that because a lot of it's kind of setup dependent. So I've always wondered why the meta kind of is like a shifting towards this. In any case, though, we're just going to get our bonus this turn because we, we kept our troops safe. No danger of dying. And now guaranteed hold rest of the game on this bonus. We have a, we have a nine there, so no one's going to be hitting that. And that's going to be in guaranteed plus four troops. We're also pretty close to uh, getting all of soul halls. Holy cow. Yeah, we can sneak that in. That could be very powerful for us. Nice, nice. And yellow also invades into blue. That's good. So yellow is wasting a lot of troops. So they're only getting five per turn. So I, I should be able to break through them if I am careful about how I do this. 
Purple is getting eight, so purple probably took pink's cap. And purple is going to be getting really strong under the Crystal Gardens. So I'm guessing purple right now is taking the rest of Crystal Gardens with their two capitals. Because there's only a two-point hold here. Blue's just getting five. So blue's been getting hit by yellow, other people. They really aggressively attacked pink to ruin pink's game. But they also set their game really far behind as well. In a black at Trigon's maze, turn one. No, black's just getting seven. Okay, so black has a lot of territory, but they will be taking the bonus on the next move. Another interesting fact about this map is like kill guards. So since black was like within this area here, he's technically anyone that's around here, if he doesn't take them out, these are basically almost free kills for them if they play it right. As this is, we're going to go in. That's two of blue there. We're going to knock black out of there, because I think that's important. Knock that down lower. And let's see if we can hold this bonus. If we can get this bonus, we can do so much damage. So who can stop us? Black could potentially frick us up, make things really hard for ourselves. Ooh, yeah, yellow lost the roll attacking into uh, blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, yellow has, I think, the best capital on this map. They're just attacking too much. They hit me. They don't hit black. I feel like that's a mistake. Look at the battle log. They didn't lose anything. Ooh, but purple's getting 15. Ooh, baby. Purple is strong, you guys. But purple did not see me take over the bonus. Yeah, 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 yeah. So purple is just focused on attacking and, and controlling their left-hand side of the map. So they're trying to get strong up over there, attacking a lot. So they're a little bit of a slow attacker. So even though they're pretty strong, I should be able to beat them in the late game. Blue's getting eight. So blue does own Voidstone now. But if I'm blue, I probably focus... Yeah, 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 yeah. I focus on knocking yellow out of my pocket because they've been a thorn in my sight hitting me the entire time. Very reasonable. Yeah, so blue's not going to hit me. So the only one left that can hit me would be black. Black does get the 14 here. My worry is, does black try to take yellow's capital? And if they do, do I get trapped then? I think on my next move, I go bad neighbor to black. And I focus on knocking them out of here first and foremost. Because it looks like I am going to be able to hold this. Nice, nice, nice. I am holding this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're going to knock Black out of this pocket here. Of this bonus of Trigon's Maze. And once they no longer have this bonus, we're going to start putting lots of pressure onto the yellow player. Because so we're going to lose this too. So we're actually going to be losing our exterior soon. We have one turn to really get some good value out of these troops. Like, holy cow. The value that we are getting right now is insane, ladies and gentlemen. Holy cow. So that's yellow. And that's black. That's so good. That is good. So we knocked black out of there. So black will no longer be a significant threat uh, in this game to us. Black is up here in the pocket, and they're going to retaliate into us, but they can't do any kind of crazy retaliation. We just got to be a little bit careful of yellow, because yellow is going to try to break us, as they should. No, they just go back. They just go back. So purple is going to get strong. We're going to lose our exterior. So now we're on borrowed time, knocking out yellow here. Because yellow is actually close, possibly, to owning Iceman's Maze, although black may be here and probably knock them out. And purple does do an early trade in, so I think that is uh, a mistake. Yeah, yeah. So purple now is Shadow's Maze. Like, they're going to get strong quickly. I need to hope that blue is able to keep purple player at bay long enough for me to be able to do something. Like, blue's still getting eight, though. Like, eight is good. Eight's pretty good. All right, all right, all right. And now black goes. Black probably breaks my plus nine because they're pissed off at me. That is super reasonable for them to be doing that. I, I, they should put everything on the three and hitting me. 
6 v 4, high chance of success. I'm fine with this, losing this. Yep, yep, very reasonable. Black to be hitting me. But now I get 11, and I'm going to focus on just clearing... Uh, hmm, can I clear black out? I think I can, actually. I also need to not keep make sure to keep my, my exterior alive against uh, yellow. Okay, good. Good. Yeah, so black is out of there now, and now I'm super strong holding this bonus. My capital is weak, but it's really on like everyone else to come in and go in and take it from me. Like, I have two fours right here. Like, yellow is just being too defensive. Too, too defensive. I am so strong right now. Like, purple's getting 15. They don't have Shadow's Maze yet. They need one more turn. I'm getting so many troops. Like, unless black is, like, in dead end or cal cauldron, I don't think they can do anything. They have to hit a one, then they have to win, like, a, a roll here, then another one, and another one. They have to win four rolls. They need perfect dice, perfect dice. We're actually in danger of running out of cards soon if we don't do something about it. Blue trades in early. Good, good, good. P keep purple at bay. Yes, yes. Blue is keeping purple player at bay. This is so good. This is so, so good right now. So yeah, blue is attacking purple. That means black is probably getting like five to six troops right now. They might do a trade-in. That is possible. Like they're only getting a five. They, ha they probably have to trade in if they want to stop me again. Yeah, they trade in again. Nice, they didn't do anything. They didn't do anything. Now I get 23 troops. This is so good. And now, this is a 100% guaranteed roll, you guys. Oh my goodness gracious. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, so we got to take this capital. This capital is so, so important to our strategy in this game. That's a purple territory right there. Can we knock that out? No. All right. Nice, and now we got guaranteed access out, and yellow's only getting three. So they're going to be getting the trade-in of the 12. Well, that's not going to be anything too crazy. They can't break through this. Yeah, they can't break through. They're, they're, those are ones right there. They have to go somewhere else. The only thing that can frick me over is if purple ends up attacking me here. But, oh my god, purple's just getting eight. Yes, yes, yes. That means the board is ganging up on the purple player. Blue must have gone into them, or black went into them. Someone did. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. This is so good. I'm just going to focus now on taking out this territory, knocking purple out of the way. I think the benefit's better to take them out, because it guarantees I hold all this territory. A one-point hold um, over a plus seven and a plus four is incredibly valuable at this point in the game. Oh my god, and blue's getting three, so purple fricked over blue. So all my opponents are getting crushed right now. They're all getting crushed. And black's just getting five, and again, like, no one else is trading in right now. Yeah, so I think we're about to steamroll. I think we're about to steamroll, you guys. So 26 troops, holy shit. And I have a set to turn in if I want to. But I don't think I need to be doing that right now. So, guaranteed bonus, rest of the game. Take that cap, because... <laughs> frick. <laughs> Yellow, that's why. <sighs> we just own all of this. I mean, Yellow, what are you going to do about it? Turn in your set on three and try to hitting a 17, man. You can't do anything. Yeah, so, most I have is a 20, so they have to go down and then hit a 17. Yeah, but yellow just takes a card and pass. Yellow just takes a card and pass. Nice, nice, nice. So look at this. I have three capitals on the board. I have three bonuses. 
purple trades in the 20 set. Only thing that could freak us over is we get hit through the dark door. And with this 36, this could do a lot of damage. Like if purple has incredible foresight to hit my 17 here and break through, that could be something. But I think they probably just take out our six here. Good roll, Jesus. Only losing three, attacking a six. Capitals are weird, man. And I also wonder, is this like the last spot of purple on the star starry stairs? If that's the case, I'm thinking I hit this spot first. And then the only one that can really stop me now would be uh, purple. But if I go into purple and slam them hard, because they're a very slow attacker, I should be fine, because sets are going with 25. Yeah, 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 yeah. So blue has given up. And yeah, and black isn't doing anything. So I think we can just make a first preemptive strike. Trading in all right here. And we can just do some massive damage on the other players. Nice. And we get a card for ourselves. So good, so good, so good. And that's blue gone! Let's go, let's go, let's go, ladies and gentlemen! And that's going to trigger another trade-in for us of the 30. So now we just got to keep this capital strong. I got a 35. And put the rest here. And I think that we just go all in. Make sure we break black here. Break that. So that's all of... Uh, so that is like most of purple right there. Purple is taking some massive, massive damage. We put our extra stack down on this capital because as long as we hold this, we're guaranteed all these extra troops. No set on three, but we are a car we're cards ahead of purple. We, as long as we get a set on four, we should be okay. This also should be the last part of the yellow player here. Black is right here and is currently card blocked. We also own like 47 territories, so it's just coming down to the point where we own almost too much of the board to be reasonably stopped. Yeah, yeah. So purple is just like not super strong mechanically. So while they're attacking, they're just not going fast enough to really be doing uh, anything. And black's just getting five per turn, but they do have a set. Yeah, they can, they can break my uh, my plus nine, so I'm going to be getting less troops in perpetuity. But they also have to go through a seven to do that first. They may also kill the yellow player, but it's only for one card, so it's probably not worth it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So black only hits a little bit. Do they hit more or do they stop? And black doesn't even break me. They don't even break me, you guys. Oh, that is such a mistake. Such a mistake, such a mistake, such a mistake. And now, all I, I can just basically have my way with these players. Yep, yep. And now I have five of the capitals now, you guys. What is this steamroll right now? I can see why the kill Pete strategy and other people were hyping up these settings. I didn't attack here in Misty Path because I want to try to hide the purple player kill in case black is uh, going for it. Because they get another trade in, they could make it a little bit harder. All I got to do is kill purple, trade in, and then take black's last capital and I win the game. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, that's purple, that's purple. So purple has bro brought the black player out. Black's cap probably is open if purple was smart. They don't even break. They don't even break, you guys. Oh my god. And since black went up, they can't kill. GG. G mother freaking G, you guys. Let's go. We don't even need to turn the set here. Let's go and eliminate the remaining players from this game. You can also take out this uh, yellow bot here, get a card for ourselves. 
trigger in that nice little trade in. Ho 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 ho. And we get to save our wild card too while we're at it. Very nice, very nice, very nice. And then we will go and. Take out the purple player to trigger another immediate trade in for ourselves. And ladies and gentlemen, Trigon's Maze is an amazing map. I highly recommend checking this out. And ooh, this is not guaranteed. So we'll just wait a turn. We'll take them out. They have the set. Doesn't matter, they can't uh, cap run. But that is a GG, everybody. Yeah. This is Olive XC signing off.